everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Some serious pride on the line in this contest as these two divisional rivals take the field together for the first time this season. Ship together here from the D-line. carry for Amir Abdullah. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. They'll look to throw here. A dump off for Abdullah. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Give him three on the play, and they're going to face a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. Encroachment, defense. Automatic first down. up to the 41 yard line a stampede of broncos there that time combined to get him down and that's exactly what you want on a first down run pick up five yards bring up second and five the defensive line though they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack and he finds a man on the crossing round and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49 yard line so there on that play, offensively, they were in the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend there? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver is crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. to the ground now. Here's Abdullah. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles. Because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And able to find Conley. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. Let's go! What? Ah! On first down, Abdullah. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. So what will they do on the ground through the air? Let's see, second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster. But it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Now this now, play number nine on the opening drive, but it's third and long. Come on, let's go! Watch nine. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Now it's Chris Boswell on for the field goal try. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless. And now here comes Kansas City. Last time out they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. 
And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They come up in an offset eye. Back to throw here. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And he's going to be out of bounds up around the 45-yard line. A nice gain of 21 yards. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Here Defense diagnosed One, the play, nine. and it was over in One, a heartbeat. Nine, nine, nine. Now back to throw. He goes underneath to Abdullah. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be third and ten now. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. The Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. They've got it third and ten here to start things out. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, on, if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. They'll drop to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Chiefs are in for six. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without it. And now here comes Kansas City. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the left. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. And on second and 10 now. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. I think when they get back in the huddle, the question will be, why did you throw that one? The coverage was incredible all over him. The only thing he didn't do after he caught the ball as a defender was get his feet in bounds. That should have been a turnover. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all go. afternoon. Brand Didn't get a whole lot better there. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Their dangerous wide receiver, his second touchdown on the season. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touch. And now here comes Kansas City. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown 
looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not the yardage lost, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And they're able to get this one across the 35. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you don't lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Call it a pickup of seven, and it's a second down. And the offense still has a couple plays to go to pick up the first on second down and three. And at his size, he's a smaller back. He can get into football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's... And now here comes Kansas City. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. So here we go, first and ten now. They go play action here on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Ten yards still left on second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. That catch good for five. It's third down. to throw and it's a short one here complete to his tight end good defense holds him to only a yard and it'll be fourth down so much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute isn't it guard the first down sticks don't let them get there and they rallied and made the tackle and boswell's kick is good and the lead will grow it's now 17 so here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We've got the, we've got the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. The Broncos say they have it. They do. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense. And now here comes Kansas City. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football, 
doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one yard gain. He'll drop to throw, and oh, he coughed it up. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle, and his guys will take over at the 30 yard line. So they need to determine if that knee was down before the ball was coughed up. And they also wanted to make sure that the ball was possessed as they were going through, that the ball wasn't working its way free before the knee hit the ground. After the the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Third and four. One receiver left, three to the right. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. A good pick up there, 22. I don't know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Here's Abdullah. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Wide open receiver complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Travis Kelsey, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Chiefs take advantage of the turnover and put up six. Remember the one-dimensional tight ends who just put their hand in the ground and block people? Well, if you're that guy now, you're probably a fullback in an I-formation offense. These and now here comes Kansas City. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Abdullah, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved him and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. And defensively going with a dime set, six DBs on third and four. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. That's complete to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. The speed, I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Stepping up, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. It's their quarterback taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. So they're down in the red zone. They opt to utilize his legs instead of the arm. It works out pretty well. I like what they were thinking there because in most situations now, our defense is accounted. And now here comes Kansas City. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well, where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. A second down run for Abdullah. 
And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. You give them five yards there, and it's enough for the first. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Now a play fake here on first down. And he finds a man on the crossing route. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. See, in that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. They go back to Abdullah on first. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can run to the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself. And... Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Now it's Chris Boswell on for the field goal try. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And Boswell's kick is good. And that'll push the lead from 24 up to 27. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right, and sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field, and now the final stages. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two, now third down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one. Maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Here's a carry for a former starter. This is Lamar Miller. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. And now the Bronco. And Charles, you know what coaches always tell us. We want to win our home games. That much we know. We want to protect our home turf. They got that done in this one.